We're gonna get this fish. Just stay focused and don't let that line slack. Oh, cuidado, atrás, atrás. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is something good, man. Ay, amigo. I ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for fishing and travel. Now I serve as a guest guide at Los Buzos Resort, where I help kayak anglers figure out one of the most epic fisheries on the planet. You're watching Field Trips with Robert that Field. Is a fish, bro! Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Field Trips and welcome back to Panama Los Buzos Resort. We've got a group of clients here this week. We got 10 guys in 10 kayaks. We're about to take them out front, fish in our front yard. Because we got so many clients, I'm gonna actually stay in the Ponga today, helping these guys out, trying to catch them big live baits that we're gonna use to hopefully catch some giant Pacific fish. And I'll be there, be able to run around, zip around to these different guys as they're getting bites, really talk them through the take, talk them through the fight. It's pretty technical out here. These are big fish from tiny little plastic boats. But it's gonna be a blast. Weather's looking amazing. I think it's gonna be a good day. We'll see how it goes. We'll kind of skip all the launching and all that. And we'll just see you guys out there on the water at the first spot. We'll jump right into it. I hear them, man. They're jumping out in front of you somewhere. Yeah, get them, bro. Yeah? El dijo que sí, grande. Just take your time then. Don't worry, you won't get the rocks. Just take your time. Just don't let it slack. Yeah, let them run. Oh, wow. Sean from Philly here. He's got a big fish on the popper. He thinks it's a big tuna. We'll see. Oh, real, real. Yep. We just gave him this popper five minutes ago. I told him to head over here a little shallower, and he's on with something good. It's screaming out line. If it's a tuna, get once it gets close, get your gaff ready, and you can stab it in the head. Take your time. You got him now, just don't let it slack. <laughs> Watch your, put one foot forward on your pedals right now. Yep, leave one foot forward like that. Oh, ahí está. Es, es obscuro. Creo que es un atún. You see yellow on it? Yeah. Yeah. Amarillo. Él dijo que atún. Oh, sí, está grande, mira. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got that thing in the face, man. Just take your time and take one good shot if you can. Grande, mira. Oh, sí. No, grande, mira. Sí. Wow, nice tuna, man. Okay, let it go, let it go, let it go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And a popper, mira. Yeah, he's tired now. Look at that, dude, that's a good one. Hit it hard. Got it. Now kind of scoop it up, but let's get in the boat. Whoa. Yeah, bud. Nice on the top water. Holy crap. Can't beat that. Holy crap, indeed. <laughs> wow. Man, that didn't take long. Yeah. Dude, that's a good one. Out here, out front, we don't catch a ton of tuna that size. Wow. That's a good one. Dude. <laughs> uh, can you put it like um, in between your, well, hell, okay. Let me, let me help. Dude, that's a good one, bro. That's a good one, bro. Dude, on top water? Oh, that's a stud, you man. It's bigger than that. I realized. Just, just hold it up a little more, like oh, angle-wise. I got a pretty good gaff shot on it. Okay. 
Holy shit, that is. Dude, that's a good one. Wow. That's <laughs> más grande que lo, que lo estaba pensando. Pasacalo, pasacalo. Okay. Oh, I got that fight on film, too. That might be the sickest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> sickest thing that's Top ever happened. Hot water, too? That's well, awesome. Get the yeah. Look at this, Sean from Philly. We don't catch a bunch of solid tuna out here out front. We typically got a mothership for the bigger ones, but this is a great, great tuna. And on the popper, on top water, look at that. How was that? Let's go. Get another one. Not a bad start to the morning. Got a little bit of blood in the boat, so we're gonna get this out of here and wash them off. But man, that's sashimi tonight, bud. Yes, sir. Great job fighting that fish. That's a great fish. Wow. Okay. I know, man. I know. We're tripled up. I don't know where to point the camera right now. Everyone's got two it on. Boys are slaying them. Peter here from Seattle. He's got one right next to the boat. Yeah, Good gaff shot. Bolsa, bolsa. There he is. Yee -yee. All right, Peter from Seattle. Is that your first yellowfin in the morning? Yeah. Got a feeling it won't be your last. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're around. They are chewing. Jack, there you go. There you go, Jack. Jack here from Minnesota, young young buck of the crew. Got something on. Looks like something pretty good. Looks like a little bit bigger fish than you've been catching, but just take your time. Got light lines, so just take your time. He's doing great. Yeah, it's better for people. Si le voy a necesitar ayudarle, no sé. Oh, nice. Doubled up. Is it a tuna? It's got yellow on it? Sweet. Think you can give it a gap? Just take your time and take a good shot. If you hit him, hit him hard. There you go. Nice work, man. Just watch your foot, watch your legs. See it, look at that. Is that your first yellowfin tuna? Yeah. <laughs> Not too many of those in Minnesota, huh? <laughs> Great job, man. Great work, bud. Little, little blood on the boat. Yeah, they're strong, huh? <laughs> Looks a little bigger, huh? Yeah, dude, that's a nice one. Bueno. All right, about five minutes after his last one, Peter looked back up again with an even better tuna. He's slaying it from the kayak right now. Sweet. I'm the bait caster. This guy's from Seattle. That's West Coast style right there. <laughs> Great work, man. It's a workout, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? The troll the bucktail? Sick. You can just toss it in right over. Oh, he's got it. Killing it. Oh, he ground it. Explosion on the popper. These guys look like they're doubled up, maybe tripled up, actually. Everybody catching. All right, Peter from Seattle, just on a tear, just caught a nice little Almaco jack. Not a big one, but on that same bucktail. This guy's just catching fish left and right. Great work, man. You can toss her back. She'll be a trophy fish next time you come back. There you go. Now Trent's on. Man, I can't stop filming one person before another person's hooked up. Bite is on fire right now. Yee yee! This is Jack's dad from Minnesota. He is hooked up. He's had some heartbreaks. He's lost a few fish. Hopefully he can get this one in the boat. Oh, he's got the gaff out. Just take your time, wait for a good shot. Yeah, just grab it anywhere. Or just sling it in the boat by the line. Right there. there you go. Nice work. Is that your first yellowfin tuna? Yeah. And on a kayak. Not too many people can say they've done that. Got a sun jack behind him. He's already caught his this morning. Nice one. Great work. <laughs> Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> Sweet, man. They're fun, huh? Is that on the on the bucktail on the little rod? Just trolling. Yeah. yeah. It seems to be working today. It's fun on that rod, I think. Yeah. They're, they're drag screamers, typically. 
And you know, that's not even a huge one, right? I mean, you can imagine when you get one of these bigger ones, your son got a good one. It was working him. That might be the Queen Trevally he's talking about. No, no, it's different. El pompano africano es diferente. No tiene esa cosita larga abajo. Yeah, I think that's a Queen Trevally, man. No suerte, es buen pescador. Peter here just is killing it. Nice variety, and uh, that was a species I'm not 100% sure. I think that's a, called a Queen Trevally, but I'm not 100% sure. I never caught one of those. Really cool, man. Alright, Jack here from Minnesota, hooked up again. It's on that bucktail, huh? Yeah. Fighting it like a seasoned veteran, man. Good job. You got it close. Oh, sweet! Sweet snapper, let some line out. See, you don't want to reel it so close to the tip, because then you got no... Con but don't let it slack. Great one, man. There you go, there you go. There you go. Oh, we're doubled up. Puede grabarlo. Pedro, Pedro. Porque yo necesito grabar el video. Agarra calle, agarra calle, agarra calle. Agarra calle. Great. That's called a spotted rose snapper, and that's a big one. That's a big one. They don't get too much bigger. We actually have the world record. Wow, grande. Look at that. Spotted rose snapper, and that's a great one. They don't get huge. Great fish for Jack here. We actually hold the IGFA All Tackle World Record for this species. And that one, I mean, it's not too far off, dude. That's a great fish. Ay, ay, uh, vamos al azul. I'll go grande. Okay, okay, we're coming, we're coming. Peter, the man of the hour. <laughs> Hooked up, he said something much bigger. Looks heavy. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh jeez. Okay, hang tight. It's um it's a stingray and he's got it by the tail, which that's a good place to have it because that tail will mess you up. Peligroso, uh huh? Yeah, just hang tight. Do not grab that. That's a big one too, dude. Holy, <laughs> grande. Creo que va a capturar todas las especies en el mar hoy, huh? You feel like you're gonna catch every species of fish that swims out here. Man, that's a big one. Look at that. If it wasn't the magic lure, I'd say we'll just mira. Look at that thing. Did you see the barb on that? Yeah, it was three inches, I think. At least. <laughs> Man, talk about variety pack today. <laughs> the magic bucktail, you're catching everything with it. Oh, man. The beast tail. La, la cosita en su... Ah, la punta. Eh, como así larga. Muy grande. Wow. Wow. Got some decent sets coming through today. <laughs> Alright, now you're trying to catch bait. And this is not bait, this is a trigger fish. Pretty big one. And these guys are actually good to eat. The problem is their skin is like Kevlar and it'll basically mess your knife up. It's almost not worth it unless you're desperate or camping or something, but pretty cool fish. We're gonna let him go. That's actually on the the Pan Battle DX. Been loving this reel. Just started using it. Really happy with this. Got this at Tackle Direct. It's on the Ocean Tackle International Pitch Black Rod. Fun fish. Let him go. Oh, se fue? Ah, yo tengo. Yo tengo. Entonces, eh, la, la cosita para uh, agarrarlo. Agarrarlo. Agarrar. Esa, esa. A la net. net. Yeah, net. Pero tengo sabiki, entonces. Sí, pero a mí me gusta el sabiki con esto es muy malo. ¿Por qué no? Con la caña misma. Ok. 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 Ok
qué? Okay. Ay, mira. No, usa el net, es ok. ¿Tú crees? No. Sí, sí, hay cuatro amigos. Estamos listos. Hay cinco. Entonces no necesitamos hacer nada más. Yo puedo remover los anzuelos. Ahí está. Oh, yeah. <laughs> five. All right, I just pulled in five live baits at one time, guys. Uh, everyone that needs a bait, come over here. <laughs> Porque cuando tiene una pica en la sabiki, mantenga, mantenga, y más van a picarlo. Esto es lo que no me gusta de esta. Sí, claro, pero yo puedo remover uh, los anzuelos. No me importa porque, mira, ahorita, listo. Ah, bueno, bueno. Fácil. Ok, sí es mi día. Mira, buen suerte. Ah, uno más. Mucha carnada. Ajá. No, no necesitamos. Tenemos suficiente. Ay, sangre. All right, quick, quick, quick. Can you get your uh, big hook kind of ready or grab that rod at least, get it in your hand? You gonna run? I hear you, I'm right here! Get the rod! Let it eat, let it eat! Back off your drag! All the way! Is it still running? It's okay, just wait. Is your drag all the way loose? Just wait. That ain't it, pulling? And your and your drag's all the way loose. Just hang tight. It may come back for it. Just stay right there. Nice little bait. What is that? Gorgeous blue runner. Small one. Money. This is the candy, and normally they're a lot bigger. Delicate, I don't want to mess him up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, okay, engage the drag, engage the drag, and hang on. Real, real. Oh, no, no, no. Well, check your bait. If it's still alive, drop it right back down. Who's next? You hold this, bud. Victor, Victor, Mangovia. Si, si, te copio. Hey, Diego, que capturaron de carna, cojinoa. Si, si, mucha cojinoa acá. Que lado, que lado. Grab the boat. So you see, you let these fish run a little longer than that, yeah, um, okay. it can free spool. Yeah, I didn't touch the drag. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. But you should. So here's what we're gonna do. What we need to do is when that thing starts running, right, It's we're gonna have it like two ticks up or whatever, yeah. okay. and it starts running, then you need to, before you even get on the radio, grab the rod, and back off this all the way. Oh, oh, okay. But leave your thumb, you can leave your thumb on it, but super, super light, because okay. I'm gonna have the clicker on where you almost don't need to leave your thumb on it, but yeah, okay. just better to do that than not. But you want you want as little pressure as possible, right? Okay. Because if he feels anything, he's gonna be like, ah, eh, something's up. Okay. And spit it. But it's okay. Like I was saying, telling Katal yesterday, I mean, nobody, nobody lands all of them, and a few people land there first, so. We'll find a bait now, so we're gonna have more chances today. Start counting in your head, and if that thing gets hit, we need you know back off that drag, and we're gonna give it ten Mississippis, ten good Mississippis. Even if it stops running out, pulling out, just keep counting, because a lot of times he was running away, and then he turned right back around. Yeah. He's coming at you, you know, and he's just slacking the line. All right, get one fish bit. 
They're all about to bite. Okay, that should be good. All right, just swing out to your left. Yep. I'm gonna push you. Good luck, brother. So grab that rod, back off that drag, then get on the radio immediately and let me know. We'll come right over, okay? Unless you're really here close, then just scream and I'll know. <laughs> okay. Él puede. Es suyo. Entonces, él sabe cómo usarlo, sí. So it's his. He knows how to use it. So you want a really light drag, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna push you hard. You need to swing out to the uh, to the left. So it's, uh, it's in your um. We don't go like on like on like on. Okay, okay. Hey, it looked to your left. It's on your bait caster reel. Your line. And then watch the rudder. Turn left. Turn left. Oh. No, no. It's in the rudder. Yep. Uh, can you pedal over here? Oh, uh, never mind, we'll come to you. Okay, mom. See it, Dango. Okay, when I tell you, pedal hard to your left, but not yet. Okay. Hard left. Hard left. Good to go. Okay, just remember guys, Everybody's got a line out, so nice wide berth. No reason to be close to each other. If y'all cross these baits, both baits will be wasted. Time will be wasted. Opportunities will be lost. So spread out some. It's not one little spot. It's a gigantic reef. Everyone spread out. With these blue runners, you do not need to be moving at all if you don't want to. I would always recommend at least pedaling slow to keep the line taut and out behind you. You can fish something else while you're doing it if you want. Uh, my personal recommendation would be that the first bait that went out lasted about 120 seconds. And if one fish is biting blue runners, typically they all are willing to. So if it were me, I would at least for the next 20, 30 minutes, just chill. Let's commit to the live baits. See, we're getting a run right now. I'm out of you, I'm out of you. Let it eat, let it eat. Yeah, put that away, but grab that rod as fast as you can. Just throw that thing down. See, grab that back off the drag all the way. Loose drag. Have your thumb on it, but stay as light as possible. You don't want it to feel anything. Let it run, let it run, we're coming. Dale, 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 dale. Great, man, this is looking roostery. Keep it up, yep. When it's pulling hard, you let it go, but as soon as it slacks, you gotta reel fast. Do not let the line slack. It's the only way you'll lose it. Reel, 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 reel! There you go. Real, yeah, there you go, there you go. Good job, man, good job. This is the time we gotta look alive and, and work hard right now, okay? Yeah, you're doing great. This is looking roostery. Keep reeling, it's coming at you, I think. Yeah, see, it's coming at you. It's about to be close, but it's gonna take off again, I'm sure. <laughs> doing great, you're doing great. That's good. Yep, keep that rod tip out front. Now stop reeling, keep the rod tip out front. Yep. If you have that rod tip out to the side, when he pulls hard, he's gonna flip you. There you go. Where do I want to keep that? Right here? Yeah, yeah, but try to not have the line touching the kayak if you can help that. Kind of right off to the side. Perfect. Yeah, buddy, that's a rooster fish. He just ran at you, you kept up with him. Great job. And now he's pulling again. Yeah, what I tell you? I told you. You're hauling ass right now, bud. You're flying. Yeah, buddy. This is what you gave me reward. Now be ready to reel, like when that line slacks, but when he's pulling, it's okay, but just be ready. The second, reel, 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 reel. Reel, 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 reel. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's what I'm talking about. We can't let that slack. That's the only way you can lose him now. Okay, stop. He's got, you're at your line, your line's right there. Grab that line, I think he just, what happened? Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> That's okay, man. This is not easy. That's gonna happen. That's the good thing about this place. You're gonna get plenty more chances, but you just got to feel it. Now you know how it's gonna go down. And basically what happened there is the line slacked and it just takes one second. And I mean, it's hard. It happens to me. Hard you, you weren't real, you weren't, you didn't start reeling fast enough. He turned around and look at me, your rod always has to be bent. 
as soon as your rod comes up straight, it's because that line, and it gives that line a little bit of slack. That's all it can take sometimes. But hey, man, it happens to me, and I do this for a living. So don't beat yourself up about it. The good thing is, now you know what it feels like. Now you know how it's going to go down. So the next one, you'll be much more prepared. Don't worry. This is day two. You're going to get plenty more chances. Nobody lands 100% of them. I land half of them. And I've been doing this seven years, so don't get discouraged. That was great, man. Now you know. Now you know. Almost nobody lands their first. You you got it close. So don't. Yeah. Yeah, he came off right next to your boat. No, but he was close. I can tell by your line. That's okay, though. It's okay. No drag. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, engage your drag and start reeling. Turn your rudder to the left first. Reel, don't set the hook. Just reel, reel, reel. Yeah, buddy, we're coming. Y'all get ready, guys. Up that, that, that tide's starting to move, and we got a hook up. We're hooked up right now. Just keep that line tight. All right, just handed out a bunch of blue runners. First one hooked up. We've had a couple hits and misses. The first guy tied on a big fish on the blue runner. Real, 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 real. Yep, just watch your line on that front handle. But, but you're doing great keeping it out in front of you. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's a grown-up one. Panamanian sleigh ride. So like I said, when he's pulling hard, you kind of just got to let him go. But as soon as it starts slacking, you start reeling. Based on this fight, I'd guess Rooster. But either way, it doesn't seem like he's trying to get down to the rocks too much. Marlin. Marlin, el tiene un Marlin. Dakota. You say you're hooked up to a Marlin, bro? There's a big Marlin out here blowing up on the tuna that was right in front of William and them. Sick! We're, we got a hook up on the blue run or something good. Lo tiene enganchado. ¿Qué dijo ya? No, no, está comiendo los atunes. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't crappy fishing. No, viene cediendo. You're doing great. You're doing great. As it lets up, you can kind of try to. You know, look at me like kind of lift up with the rod and then reel down. But if you do that, you got to start reeling before you lower the rod or you'll slack it. You know what I mean? That's great. one of these little tuna as fast as you can and throw that out for live bait. Throw out as live little tuna for bait. I don't know. This could be a lot of things. Yeah, dude. It's not whatever it is. It's something big. Real, real. Okay, yeah. Good job. Good job. Don't let that rod go straight. You're doing perfect, man. Now, as it gets closer, we're gonna wanna have one foot forward on the pedals, yep. And just keep that rod tip out front, like you're kind of okay there, but if you can, pull it more kind of in front of you. Perfect, dude, doing great. We're gonna get this fish, just stay focused and don't let that line slack. Oh, cuidado, atrás, atrás. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude, this is something good, man. Oh, amigo. Oh, hang tight and keep it up in front of you as best you can. If that thing gets off to the side and pulls like that, you're gonna be in trouble. Real, 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 real. There you go. There you go. I know it's pulling hard. I know it's tough, but this is the time. Like, man, just give it all you got. It ain't over yet. Real, real. There you go. You got this, bro. This is a good fish. Real, real, real. Oh yeah, dude. Real, 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 real. Don't drop that rod before you start reeling. You're slacking it yourself. Oh, dude. Hang tight, hang tight. Let it go. Oh my gosh. Amigo, Dios mío. I'll go grande. 
Yo dijo, Dios mío. <laughs> Careful doing that. I know. Real, 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 real. Seems like it's coming up now. Real, real, real. I know you're tired. Just real. Don't. <laughs> this is the time. Oh, I oh. see it. Gallo. Gallo. Sí, 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 sí. Oh, I'm uncle. No, I think it's a big rooster, dude. I see it. I see it. Keep going. One foot forward. Yep, you're good. <laughs> yeah, muy clarito. It's close, dude. So get ready. Watch for your swivel when it comes up. You don't want to reel that into the tip. The bead should stop it, but just in case. Real, real. I think it's a big rooster, dude. When it comes up, do you want to help landing it or you want to grab it in that gill plate? Big rooster. It's up to you, man. It's up to you. Okay, stop there. Okay, so you're gonna like lift up on your rod. Now be ready, he will probably go again. That is a monster rooster, dude, but just stay calm. You're gonna lift up, but be very ready, because he's probably, they're usually good for another run at the boat. Whoa. Don't let that slack like that. You just gotta wait. Should I let out line, I'm at the... Yeah, you can let out a little line. You could back off your drag a few ticks, not a lot. You want to just grab it? You want me to grab it for you? Yes, I'm happy to. Monster, okay, just hang tight and be ready. Okay, just be ready, okay? If he takes off, I'm gonna have to let go, so yep. be ready. And watch out, don't let it wrap the tip. Oh, dude, it's a stud. That is a stud. He's about to go? Maybe, maybe, yep, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay, keep, keep pulling up, trying to pick up the slack of mine, if you can. I know you can't reel anymore, just... Oh, dude, good one, good one. Good one, bro. How's that, bro? Let's go. Look at that fish. Whoa, okay. Okay, come over here. <laughs> Hang on to that, he's gonna use it to pull you towards us. Dude, that might go 50 inches, bro. That's definitely trophy class, what we call trophy class, 48 inches. All day. I think about 44. Where do I grab this? Oh, sorry. Um, El yeah, watch that hook. No, it's okay. Uh, oh, get him. Remember. Hold on to him real tight, dude. He's likely going to freak out, okay? Right. Where do I grab behind him, though? Inside. Cuidado. Inside his gills, but watch. You don't want to hit the red part. So you kind of follow this flap up to the front of the mouth. Like right here? Uh, well, don't dig in deep in there, see? Like right up against this outer wall. You got it? Up there to his... Okay, hang on tight. Look at this. Philly boy, giant rooster on his lap. Because you put your other knee down, it'll look bigger. Monster, dude. How was that fight? It was tough. <laughs> I heard you grunting and groaning and heard some oh my gods. <laughs> a lot of oh my gods. <laughs> Incredible, man. Fish of a lifetime from the kayak. Patient with that bait, and there it is, just paid off. Let me get some pictures for you. All right, let's get her in the water. <laughs> That's a tough fight for her, so we're gonna oh, let her go. You got her? That's okay, it floats. Okay, drop her. Oh my gosh, dude. Monster. Boy, I'll ink then, Darlo, no? Do I get the little music sound on the radio now? <sighs> Robert. Hold on, let me make sure she goes. Se fue, girl. Lo vi. Now you can. Safe, safely released. <laughs> All right, client slated today. Bunch of tuna, big mahi. You see that guy? Oh, wow. All right. You want to jump in there and get a quick photo? Yeah, man. I was just telling them, Robert, we're going to put every individual one up. So I put my hand and then we'll put them all up. Yes, and we'll put them all up together. Kissing. Look at this, Sean. That's the biggest kayak caught tuna I've seen in our front yard, at least, and on the popper. About five minutes after we, we gave it to him. Sweet job, man. Sean from Philly. Great fish. That's a sweet fish. Chewy. That's a day there. We're like Arby's right now. We got the meat. Good day, good day. Lots of fish caught. Some good fish lost. I think everyone's happy right now. Now Dakota and I got some filleting to do. Now the real work begins. <laughs> We're gonna get that done and then uh, catch you guys at dinner. Uh, there's 
some tuna there. Many of which were caught from the kayaks. Alright, Trainer here got his first tuna today. He said he's down to do what you're supposed to do, really. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. He's gonna eat the heart. So I just cut him out the heart. This tuna, very appetizing looking, delicious and nutritious. It really is good for you. It's gotta be. Yeah, because it tastes horrible. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Kinda irony. Oh, that's good. Yeah? Yeah, I need another, that's good. <laughs> kinda salty, kinda fishy, kinda irony. Yeah. Oh, the irony. <laughs> <laughs> that's damn good. Yeah. Well, hey, congrats, man. First tuna in from a kayak. That was fun. Sweet, man. That was a lot of Great fun. job. And your son's killing it. Your son got his first. Yeah, where's Jack? Make him eat a heart. This is an experience. All right, so Trent ate the heart from his tuna, and then he came, went and convinced his son, and actually that's not true. He tricked his son into coming down here because he got his first tuna today. Jack did. So we're pulling out a heart for him now. Tuna heart for Jack here. Delicious and nutritious. Oh, man, no hesitation. It's not bad. Really? There we go. This must be a Minnesota thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is not the reaction many of our clients give. <laughs> nice work. About. Way to be a good sport about it. Congrats on your first tuna from a kayak. Super sweet. Two tuna to the boat. This thing flew in behind wow. trying to take it. And then we put all both tuna in real quick. All three of them just cast it right the direction it went. Two more tuna. And then Peter just got hit. Clearly was a tuna. Like, because the thing didn't jump. Clearly was a tuna running. It looked like it got off. Then another huge pull, and then this mahi jumped straight out. Wow. Pulses. We're getting this tuna broken down so we make burgers with it. I'm excited for this. Something a little different here, Los Buzos. We're expanding our menu. We got Yami here, head chef at Los Buzos. She's a rock star and just everything has been so much better since she got here. Mietoe. My hero. It doesn't matter. You can do fish burgers with literally any fish. So now we're gonna mix in some red onions that have been finely diced already. And then we got some culantro or cilantro. That we're gonna mix in with that as well. This is sort of a seasonal, pretty simple salt, pepper, garlic. And now there is no way to do this without getting messy. Now you're gonna mix it with your hands. Let's get all that folded into the tuna. You want it as evenly distributed as you can get it. Okay, so now Yami's using this lid, which is actually so smart. I've never thought about this for burgers. She's got saran wrap on this lid. She's gonna use this to kind of get the shape of her burger. And she's gonna wrap each one in saran wrap individually. This is actually brilliant. I did not know she was about to do this. This is jungle ingenuity right here. Look at that. Okay, so the next step, we're gonna toast these buns. Super important. We got french fries going down. And there we go. First one going down. Nice sizzle. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now we're flipping these bad boys. We're doing this high heat, low time. You want a good crust on the outside on both sides of these burgers, but you don't want to cook them to death, especially with tuna. Wait till you get that good golden brown crust. It smells so fantastic. We gotta be good. And just like that, they're done. I mean, just a, a couple, a few minutes on each side. And that's all it takes. These are ready to go. Man, these look amazing. Look at this. Tuna burgers, courtesy of Chef Yami. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so I'm going with the bunless option because Rob's rocking the dad bod. I don't even have kids. I don't have a good excuse. I'm watching the carbs. It looks so good. All right, so I'm eating my bunless. I'm gonna skip all the toppings for now. Just tuna burger with the onions, the culantro, the cilantro. 
That's fantastic. It's got the consistency of a burger. It's got the crust on both sides. That is excellent. A new thing to the Los Buzos menu. And we're loving it. We normally have so much tuna, we don't know what to do with it all. We eat it 20 different ways. And this is the newest way. And tuna is still awesome, it turns out. So good. We're going to enjoy this. All right, guys. Well, that's all we got for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Absolute slay fest on the tuna. Tuna burgers. You know we catch a lot of yellowfin when we're using yellowfin tuna to make burgers. Trying to switch it up, keep things fresh. They were fantastic. You could do that with any kind of fish. But I'm going to get back in there, hang out with the guys. As always, if you want to come out here and do this with us, get on some epic fish, we will coach you through it. No experience required. We will put you on some giants. You'll leave here with some stories you'll be telling for the rest of your life. You can go to losbuzos.com for all the information or send an email to sales at losbuzos.com. They'll reply back with all the information that you need, answer any questions that you have. I've got a few spots on my New Year's trips still left. We're doing a big party. You can come out here January of 2024, well, really December 30th, right before New Year's Eve. Spend New Year's with us. We're going to be doing something fun in the city. Then we're going to be doing some epic fishing here at Los Buzos and then another party to ring in the New Year's at the end of the week here. Come on down. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Till the end, please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. I hope to see you back next week. We got more Field Trips Panama coming up. We ain't done. Thank you guys so much. Party's getting started next door, sounds like. <laughs> Adios, guys. Ciao.